Hey guys, welcome back to the Steakhouse series. This is episode four of, uh, let's say six. Six is a good number. Uh, two more in this first season of my series. Going out to a steakhouse isn't just about eating dinner. It's also dinner and a show. Today we're gonna do Now I like to get the hard stuff out of the way first. First I want to get my lemon squeezer ready. Cut out a nice wedge of the lemon and remove the seeds and that little white end off the end of the lemon. For the sauce I'm going to make a beurre blanc sauce. It's very easy to make and all you really need is confidence. To make the sauce you're going to need one half teaspoon of black peppercorns, one shallot chopped, one thyme sprig cut in half, one bay leaf, two lemons juiced, quarter cup of white wine. Bring to the boil and simmer down to almost a sauce consistency. Add in a splash of cream. This will make it easier to make the beurre blanc. Add in the butter a little bit at a time and whisk to incorporate. Strain and season. You don't have to, but I like to add a little bit of fien herbs to my sauce. That's chive, parsley, and tarragon minced. To prepare the dover sole, cut the skin near the tail, and you're going to want to, using a paper towel, pull the skin off the fish. Repeat on the other side, and then you're going to want to cut off the head with some scissors. You're going to then season your fish with salt and white pepper, and then you want to dust the fish with some all-purpose flour. Heat a pan over medium heat and add a neutral oil like canola oil to cover the bottom of the pan. When the oil is hot, add the fish to the pan and place it away from you. Sear the fish for about three minutes on the side. Don't let the pan get too hot or the fish can burn or dry out. About one minute before the fish is ready to flip, add some butter and baste the fish. To flip the fish, you're going to want to tilt the pan towards you and then flip so there's no oil or butter splashing everywhere. Continue to cook the fish and baste occasionally. When the fish is cooked, remove from the pan and let rest for about two to three minutes. To remove the bones from the fish, you will need a spoon and fork. You want to work from the tail up. Push down on the skirt of the fish and it should remove all the little bones running along the side of the fish. Run the spoon down the spine of the fish and you should be able to start removing the fillets. If the fish is not cooked enough, it will stick to the bones. You will then run the spoon along the top of the spine to loosen the fillets on the bottom. Pick the spine up with the fork and spoon and remove. Place the fillets back on top and transfer to a plate. And now we sauce the fish with a little bit of our fina beurre blanc and enjoy with a squeeze of lemon. Oh, 
all right guys and that is it we are done with the dover soul uh it was fantastic uh it's always a treat to break down a whole animal and eat it yourself um it does take a little bit of confidence to make the sauce uh, but in the end it is amazing with it uh, I wouldn't recommend it doing without a sauce uh, you could use a brown butter instead of the beurre blanc it's a lot faster I know this is a steakhouse series but come on guys the steak's coming be patient probably the next video